Okay, let's dig into specifics on reliability and validity. First, let's cover some definitions. Throughout this video, I'm going to be referring to measures. A measure is anything that can be used to produce a concrete quantitative number. A scale could be a measure for weight. A blood test could be a measure for hemoglobin levels. A bubble chamber can measure particle decays, I think. A questionnaire can measure a psychological variable like depression or relationship distress. The next line I say is going to be a foundation for the rest of the video, so be sure to catch it. Measures are the operationalization of a variable. In order to understand what that means, we need to understand the interplay between true scores that really exist really out in the real world but we can't really see them, and observed scores that we could get from a measure. Think of it like this. When I step on a scale, I intend it to measure my weight. I really do have a weight at the moment I step on that scale. It really is a real value really out in the real world. When I step on that scale, it is as if I'm asking the universe a question. Hey universe, how much do I weigh? Remember that real value is a bit hidden from me. So when I step on that scale, the scale ends up being the way that I can communicate with the universe. The scale is my only way to potentially access that hidden information. So then the only way that I can estimate that real value that really exists out in the real world is by using this measure, the scale. But have you ever tried to step on two different scales back to back and noticed that they actually disagree slightly? That's what we call measurement error. There really is a real value really out in the real world. Like I've said, you do weigh an amount at that moment. The scale is only estimating that value for us. So think of this like there are two different variables. There's the real number that is hidden from view that none of us can see. Then there is this number that we get from the scale that we believe is close, but not perfect. When you stepped on scale one, it might've said 210. You stepped on scale two and it said 209. That's only a difference of about a you didn't step on scale 1 and it said 4, you stepped on scale 2 and it said 6,000. They're close. The amount of disagreement is small, and the amount of error is also probably small. That number 209.5, we never actually measured that correctly. That's that hidden value that we can never access completely accurately. But we got really close with those measures. So there's that real number that's hidden from view, 209.5, we can never actually see that number. And then there's the number that we get from the scale, which was either 209 or 210 in this example. It's close, but it's not perfect. This way of understanding variables stems from what's called classical test theory. The idea is that there is a variable really out there in the real world. That variable has a value that it holds at the moment of measurement, and we call that its true score, T. We can't measure T, it's elusive. Our measurements try to, but they can't measure it exactly. So there will always be some amount of error, E, around that measurement. Thus, classical test theory says that a true score is made up of an observed score plus some error, or our observed score is going to be generated by the true score and a little error. We never know exactly how much error we have, but with some measurements we believe that we have more error than with other measurements. To get a sense for the amount of error in a measurement, we need to know whether the measures provide consistent responses, and we have to try to validate that measure. So to be clear, reliability is the consistency of the measure. Validity is the the degree to which we're measuring what we intend to, and both are measured actually in a relativistic sense. We only assess the validity relative to something else, like another measure for the same variable. But there's much more to it, and we'll discuss that in the validity videos. Now I also mentioned operationalization. Remember that word. Operationalization is our attempt to find some objective, real-world measure of that hidden, true score, often called latent, variable. We know it won't be perfect, but if we are careful, we can minimize our uncertainty, maximize that measure's validity, and increase our confidence in the conclusions drawn when using that measure. To operationalize something is to come up with some way to get some objective external process, equipment, or survey, for example, to give me a number I can use with confidence as a representation of that hidden variable, that true score, that latent variable. 